Excuse me, but how old are you again, Miss Ando? I forgot. Huh? Oh, um, 21 years old. What? Seriously? I can't believe that you gave birth at a young age. Please don't tell me that you're pregnant with the second child now. Good lord. Oh, wow, it was such a busy day today. Let's close already, we're done for today. Hey, Anne. Uh, hello, um, sorry, but we're closed. Oh my god, Natsue, what are you doing here? Hey, long time no see. Sorry I couldn't visit you for a while. That's okay, I'll keep the store open all night for you. This is Natsue, she's the daughter of a person who taught me everything about this industry and helped me become this confident, fashionable person. I'll talk to you about her mother, whom I respected a lot, and who I called Mrs. Teddy some other time. Anyways, Natsue is like my little sister and she calls me Anne since childhood, and has been calling me that ever since and is the only one who calls me that. <laughs> what brought you here? Um, I want you to help me because I'm in trouble now. Sure, can you tell me what happened? Hi, I'm Natsue Ando, 21 years old, and had my daughter last year. When I found out that I was pregnant, I was surprised and didn't know whether to have it or not. But my baby is innocent, and I'm already a mother since I have a child in my belly, so I wanted to raise it. Plus, my mom is no longer here with me, so I've always wanted to have a family of my own. By the way, I know who the father of this child is, but because it seemed like he had this certain reason, I hid the fact that I was pregnant and left him. Fortunately, since my mom left me a large sum of money, I didn't need to work for a while, so I had no trouble making a living. Then I gave birth to Manaka. I never thought that a child could be so cute just because it was my own, and I was really glad that I gave birth to her and the fact that I could be a mother. But I couldn't live forever with the money my mom left me, so I immediately started looking for a nursery school where Manaka could go to. I went for an interview for several nearby daycares I found on social media and finally understood how difficult it is to enter one. Oh my gosh, there's literally nowhere. I'm a single mother with no parents, so I'm doing this on my own without any help. But there are so many places that are full. I asked more than 10 daycares and finally found a small one with vacancies. So when my daughter was six, she was able to enter there. I found a part-time job at a pachinko parlor 10 minutes away from there and was very surprised that there was quite a lot of single moms working there. Anyways, life as a mother and daughter started off smoothly. But I had no idea that the daycare I had struggled so hard to find would turn out to be the entrance to hell. Good morning. How are you? I'm dropping off Manaka. Uh, who are you? Huh? Oh, I'm Manaka's mother, Natsue. I have been already here. Oh, that girl who joined us recently, right? Oh my, I didn't know that you were this young. The old lady stared at me with a disgusted look on her face. I wonder who she is. While I was thinking that, I saw her talking to the other female guardians and then said, Good morning. Oh, hello, Mrs. Saito. Ugh. Hi, Miss Sakanishi. I didn't expect to see you here. Wow, you're wearing cheap ass clothes again? <laughs> oh, well, you have five kids, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> WTF? I was about to swear on the spot when I heard that. Then after, I saw her saying super rude comments to every single mom who came to drop off their kids about their age and appearance but her personality changed all of a sudden. Hi, Miss Sakanishi. I'm surprised to see you here. How are you? Oh, my. Hi, Mr. Shizaki. I'm good. How are you? What's going on? To my surprise, when a male guardian came, her attitude changed and was taking in a high-pitched voice. Then all of the female guardians who were picked on by her quickly left, so I also left with them and decided to ask them what this was about. Her name is Tarako Sakanishi and is in her 50s. She had been treating them like trash and saying something disrespectful to them every time. Why haven't you all said anything to her? This is so wrong. But they all said that they couldn't because if they did, they might get kicked out. 
I understand that because all of the daycares around here are full and it's difficult to transfer. So, a lot of them are thinking of transferring when their children turn three years old. I'm the youngest among the guardians, and I'm being attacked by her every single time I go. The guardians told me she shows up once every few days just to lash out at the mothers when they drop off the kids to relieve her stress, so just tolerate it a bit. But... Hey, I heard you're working part-time at Rookie Pachinko Parlor. Yeah, I am. It's close to here, plus has good pay, so... Seriously? A single mom working at a pachinko parlor? Wow. Doesn't your generation think before they act? Oh, I guess not by looking at you. Oh! Huh! Anne! OMG, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Here, I made you a freshly squeezed melon juice. Please enjoy! Did you just cut the melon in half by one slice? Damn, you have the strength of a gorilla. Anyways, we need to do something about that bitch. The other moms are having a hard time also, right? God, I can't stand her. Yeah, so that's why many of them ask their husbands to drop off their kids. But since she acts like a good person in front of them, they don't know how terrible she is. WTF? That cunning old hag? Since I'm a single mom, there are no guys who I can rely on. I was going to ask you if you can dress up as a guy and help me, but that's impossible. That's true. Hey, I'm home. Are we still open? Oh, perfect timing. I found the perfect person for you. What? That's when I explained the whole story to Sumire. I knew that she was getting pissed by the minute, and she was trembling with anger. Damn, I wanted to beat the crap out of that scumbag. Oh wow, you're pretty harsh. Remember that this is not a video game, so don't do anything illegal, Sumire. Don't worry, I'll do something more than that. Anyways, I have no problem pretending to be your husband, but she only butters up to men, huh? Exactly. The whole time that they're there. Hmm, then I'll only be protecting you temporarily. And I don't think the main problem will be solved if that's the case. Sumire then made plans to expose the true face of the crazy-ass director. What? Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm the kind of person who can do well with that. Hey, Natsue, can you get in touch with the other parents? Yup, there's an anti-director group chat. Great, then can you tell everyone to gather as much as possible for tomorrow morning? Tomorrow is gonna be the last day for her. Hey, I'm home. Oh my gosh, Natsue, no way. Ayame, wow, you're all grown up. Wait, do you guys know each other? Actually, when I was late because of work, I asked Natsue to babysit her. Also, she came a few times to eat lunch here before. I see. Well, sorry for not introducing myself. I'm Ayame's father, Sumire. Nice to meet you. Ayame told me everything about you. Ayame, you look just like your father, so you'll definitely be pretty. Thanks. Are you staying for dinner tonight, Natsue? I want to, but I can't. I need to pick up my daughter from my job's daycare. Sorry. What? You became a mother? Really? Congrats! Thank you. I will bring her here next time so you can play with her. Sure. We each made eye contact and Natsue left. I guess she left Madoka at the daycare for a little while so she could talk to me about this because I believe that the Pachinko Parlor's daycare allows customers to leave their children for an hour. Let's eat. Today's dinner is curry with extra, extra vegetables. Okay, I'm going to go change first. The next day... Good morning, how's everybody? It's going to be another busy day today. Doesn't she show up every day recently? I think she's just here to lash out at Miss Ando to relieve her stress. She reeks of jealousy. Hey, what did you just say? Uh, nothing. I will do my best to not cause problems today. Hmm, <laughs> why are you saying something obvious? Good morning. Yes, she's here. Huh? Who is that next to her? Never seen her here before. Well, whatever. Oh, well hello there, Miss Ando. Hi, how are you? I came to drop off Manaka. Excuse me, but how old are you again, Miss Ando? I forgot. Huh? Oh, um, 21 years old. What? Seriously? I can't believe that you gave birth at a young age. Please don't tell me that you're pregnant with the second child now. Good lord. 
The rude and disrespectful yelling splash has begun. But tolerate this, Netsue, because I need her to say more to me today. I'm so sorry for asking you this, but are you single? Uh, yeah? Is there something wrong? No, no. It's just that people I know who are your age are all married and have kids who are grown up, so I just wanted to ask. Excuse me? That's very rude. Can't believe you. Rude? You're also rude to me, saying disrespectful things to me every time you see me. I'm young and a single mother, but I'm working hard and raising my daughter, so you have no right to speak to me that way. The other mothers, too. They're all working hard and raising their kids every day and are saying that a person who's single and has no kids has no right to make fun of them. This is why I hate young people. They just say things not knowing what's going to happen to them. Huh. I'm the director here, okay? If you act like this, I will do something, you hear me? She then smirked and acted like she won. But I think this is enough, right? This is enough, Natsue, thank you. You sure? Anyways, who are you? You're not a guardian, right? Yes, I am. I'm Natsue's husband, Sumirai. Nice to meet you. Wait, what? Huh? I heard from my wife that you have been very disrespectful toward the female guardians, but are completely different toward the male guardians, so I dressed up as a female to investigate this. <laughs> what? Seriously? No! She was in great confusion, of course, because the true face that she had been trying so hard to hide had been exposed. But the crazy-ass director's road to hell had just begun. Then, some of the husbands started to come in. When I sent a chat to everyone on group chat yesterday, I got the answer, I'm going to ask my husband if it's okay to drop off the kids tomorrow. So here they are right now. The husbands who thought she was a good person finally were able to realize what a disgusting person she was. They were all pissed off, and she started to shake with fear. My wife told me that you were rude and disrespectful toward the female guardians and asked for help. But since I didn't see that in person, I really didn't believe her. But seeing this made me realize that everything is true. No, please wait. Can you please wait? Please? We will report this to the appropriate authorities. Don't make any excuses because many people recorded your behavior. What? Seriously? Yes, we've been preparing to make sure that you get what you deserve one day. We will never forgive you for what you have done. No! <laughs> Since she had nowhere to escape, she collapsed on the spot. Seeing her... Look, Mommy, she is crying. She, she looks, looks sad. sad. Crying? crying? Let's go play inside, everyone, okay? Let's choo-choo back to the room. Hey, you two. Why aren't you guys helping me? I'm being bullied by everyone right now. Sorry, but this is all your fault. I also left a resignation letter on top of your desk, so I'm quitting after today. Same here. I can't handle your power harassment anymore. I'm seriously done. What? Me too. I'm done because you were forcing me to go out with you and marry you if you don't have a girlfriend. Surprisingly, it looks like she was lashing out and being rude not only to us, but also to the teachers. Hey y'all, when filing a lawsuit, I would like to report about the teachers as well. Could you all help me testify? Of course. Anything else? We will cooperate with you. No, please. <laughs> Her misdeeds were reported to the city's social welfare council, and the management appropriateness committee decided to fire her. In addition, she was accused of defamation due to numerous verbal abuses against guardians, and power and sexual harassment towards workers. Actually, one of the husbands was a lawyer, so he was very helpful. She ended up having to pay a large amount of compensation and was kicked out. A new director was dispatched from another daycare to ours, and it was decided that it would operate under a new system. So the teachers didn't need to retire, and the kids were able to continue attending as before without having to transfer, which was very helpful to us parents. But there was still more to this story. Oh yeah, about the Dora the Explorer looking hag. Dora the Explorer looking old hag? Oh my god, stop it! 
You're making my stomach hurt. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Looks like she's been marriage hunting for the past 10 years, but seems she has no luck. 10 years? Yep, I did some research and she caused problems at the marriage agency, so she got kicked out and rejoined another one. Seems like she has also been banned from many places and got told that she's not allowed to look for a partner. It was obvious that her unusual abusive behavior towards the Guardians was a result of her jealousy towards us. She probably longed for marriage and wanted to have a family of her own. But she doesn't focus on her own problems and has that kind of disgusting personality, so there's no way anyone would like her. By thinking that, I was really lucky to have Monaka. By the way, why did you choose to be single? If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. My mom passed away when I was 16. I dropped out of high school and began working at my friend's hostess club. But my high school teacher was worried about me and came to see me. Then, as I was asking him for advice... Oh my! Forbidden love between teacher and student? I already dropped out of school. Plus, I didn't have feelings for him while I was attending. He's single, but he's a high school teacher. It's going to be a problem if he dated a former student and is now a hostess. And also the fact that he got a girl who's 15 years younger than him pregnant, right? My relationship with him was something I couldn't talk about to anyone. He was single, but society would say this was unacceptable. So when I found out I was pregnant, I quit my job, said goodbye to him, and disappeared. I hope that he's living happily somewhere now. Natsue, I hope that you'll be able to see him again. Don't want to, because there's a chance that I might like him again. I decided to not meet him anymore and nurture the treasure he gave me as best as I could. If you have any trouble, tell me right away, okay? I owe you a lot, so don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you, Anne. I'll make sure to tell you. Well, I'm also the type of person who sticks to what I decide to do, so whatever your decision is, I will support you. Thank you, Samire. I appreciate it. I'm home. Hi, Natsue. Oh my gosh, you brought the baby too? Oh, you're home, Ayami? Yeah, this is Manaka. Would you like to hold her? Hey! Wash your hands and gargle before holding her. Okay. When Natsue was all alone by herself, I told her that I would help her, but I was too busy taking care of Ayame, which I felt really bad for. So the teacher who supported her when she was alone and lonely, I'll probably never meet you, but I too wish you happiness. Oh, she smiled. How adorable. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Life is so hard, isn't it, Sumire? That's right, but what we can do is watch over Natsue and Monica and make sure they're happy. Yes, Natsue is like my little sister, so I would be happy if I could look after her also. I will, of course. Life is difficult and things don't always go as planned, but Natsue is super reliable friends who she can always count on like this. Let's all continue to support each other.